please let me come to New York with you. See where the knife takes us? I really feel bad for not coming. Thank you across the Brooklyn Bridge. I got a big ass head. <laughs> I'm a broke. banana pudding from Magnolia Bakery. Apparently it is busting, busting. I don't like bananas, but I heard it's super good. I'm so excited to try this. Ooh. It's like ice cream. I hope you guys can hear me. So they're known for this. Last time Billy and I were here, they sold out. So I just got off the airplane and I came straight here. Okay, this is good, but I think I don't love it because I don't really like banana. I mean, I like banana if I'm eating a legitimate banana or a banana bread, I like that. I don't really like other banana flavored stuff, but this is good. I think it's like cream and then there's like banana cake in it. I'm squatting on the floor, guys. Okay, mm, that bite was good. I don't know if I'd come get this again, but I'm glad I tried it. You know what's so freaking crazy? Billy and I were talking about how we wanted to go back to New York so badly. That was in December. And four months later, my mom called and she was like, guess where I'm going for work? I'm like, where? New York. And I was like, mother, please, please let me come to New York with you. So that's how we ended up here. My mom is flying in from London. So she's on a different flight. And she was also at a different airport. She was at JFK and she's stuck in customs. She's been waiting in line for four hours. She said she's probably gonna be like another two hours. So I wasn't able to check into the hotel, but I left my luggage there. And now I'm just walking around, got banana pudding. I don't know what I'm doing now, cause I feel so gross. I'm oily, sweaty, I have no makeup on. And I kinda wanna go out for dinner, but I wanna look nicer than this. This is not the vibe when we're in New York. Literally when I arrived, right when I got off the bus and I stepped foot in New York, I was playing the New York song. Yeah. Yo, let's not get copyrighted. Kidding. Do y'all see this? The Jimmy Fallon show? Okay, I did not know that the Jimmy Fallon show was in New York. And now I, I wish I got tickets to see it because it would've been so sick. I was on the way to go to Macy's to do some shopping, but then I saw this. I saw that people were lining up for, I think, a shawarma? I don't know, honestly. I like to just randomly join lines. This is what you do when you're alone in a big ass city. Hope the food is good because last time, Billy and I joined a line for those cronuts. They were not it. Orange and chocolate do not go together. We got the goods. I asked what the most popular thing that everyone orders and it's the mixed plate. Holy, look at how big this is. And this was only $9. Okay. This is what I got. I really don't know how I'm eating all this because I only plan on eating a little bit so I can eat like other stuff. I think this is chicken and beef. Okay. The chicken is interesting. When you come to New York, expect a lot of honking. Chicken is interesting. Super finely shredded that it's almost like flaky canned tuna. But the flavor is good. Yo, this rice is so good. I see why people are lining up for this. If you're in New York and you want to bang for your buck, go to Adel's Famous, something like that. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I forgot to give you guys a room tour before we walked in and left all of our shit everywhere, but here's our front door. You walk in. Oh my, what the? F <laughs> I don't know how I just fell, but mirror, little desk here, luggage are here, closet. It would be nice for some reason. They don't have a safe. And there's no fridge. TV, beds, and then a washroom. This washroom is actually pretty spacious compared to the hotel that Billy and I stared at. And I do not like how they leave the curtains closed because that low-key scares me because I, I watch a lot of horror movies and when this shit is closed, there's usually someone behind the curtain. What are we doing? I don't know. I have a headache. I feel a little motion sick. I look dead. I need a shower. Sheesh, my hair is oily. Might grab some bubble tea. We'll see how I feel after I shower. <laughs> I decide that we are gonna go out tonight. I don't know where we're going, but we're just gonna kinda walk around, see where the night takes us. I mean, it's I think it's almost eight o'clock. I do have like a bit of a headache. That airplane ride was not it, you guys. Seriously, it was probably like the worst airplane ride I've been on. It was so freaking shaky. The turbulence was horrible. We're only in New York for three days, so we better make the most out of it. Bar. 
I got ricotta pizza from Joe's Pizza. My mouth is salivating. It's pretty good. Good morning, New York City. We're in New York. I grabbed some breakfast. What time is it? Mm, 10, maybe? I don't know. I woke up pretty early. Well, I mean, not that. Okay, when I say early, I'm not saying like 5 o'clock. Like 7.30-ish. To get my day started, head up the gym real quick. We grabbed breakfast. One thing I'm so confused about is, do I tip when I do takeout? I noticed that there's a tip option for when you do takeaway, and I didn't tip for this, and I feel kind of bad now, because I don't know if you should be tipping or not, but I saw one person did tip, but then the other person did not tip, so I don't know. Maybe I think I'm gonna start tipping when I do takeaway. So that's one thing to keep in mind in New York. I grabbed a iced dolce de leche latte with oat milk. You guys get the first sip. This is good. I got a large too. It's called Cafe Patoro. Patoro? I don't know how to pronounce that. I got a bacon egg cheese sandwich. It was hot. Got makeup on. Tell I look a little more put together. You know how much this costs? Either 20 or 22 US dollars. This back home not cost this much. I cannot afford to live in New York. Their breakfast sandwich was over easy egg and a croissant But then I saw this and it said bacon and I had to get it I'm a sucker for bacon Oh my gosh, funny story My grandpa, he loves meat, okay He loves his bacon, he loves his sausage, he loves his steak But my, was it my mom or my aunt? Someone brought home turkey bacon to his house And he was genuinely so pissed He was like, what is this? Do not bring this to my house ever again He's hilarious right, Let's give this a try I'm so hungry. This smells really good. You got the cheese, you got the egg, the bacon on an English muffin. Oh wait, you know what we go with this? Ketchup. Don't hate on me guys. Everything is good with ketchup. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. I should probably wash my hands. Stay clean. This coffee though. Now I really feel bad for not tipping because the food's good. But I mean, back at home, obviously it's different everywhere around you go. This is something that I need to learn. But back at home, like, People don't really tip for takeaway. Sometimes if I go, I leave like 5%. Definitely something to keep in mind when you're traveling. Because also in Europe, the gratitude charge is already added or you don't really leave a tip in Europe. Okay, please ignore my lips. When I've been walking around, I've been listening not to um the New York song by Alicia Keys, but the one by Fat Joe. And it's more of like a hip hop rap song. And when I'm walking the streets, I would literally think, you know, like a little gang. Should I say that? No, I should not say that. But you know, I'm totally feeling the vibes when I listen to that song. So y'all should listen to that song when you come to New York. Listen to that song in general. I just got a bike, so we're gonna go across Brooklyn Bridge. This is gonna be exciting. Okay. This is actually a lot scarier than I expected. I've always wanted a bike in New York, but the roads are driving here way too crazy. So I'm biking across the Brooklyn Bridge right now, and there's a designated path for cycling. But I'm going uphill. Why is this so much more tiring than I thought? See you guys when we get across. We're like halfway there. I kind of regret doing this. I wish it was an electrical bike because this is not as fun as I thought. Vlogging and riding a bike, it's not that easy. But we're going downhill now, so at least this is a bit more fun. So glad that I did not take this onto the streets of New York because it'd be freaking dying. The wind keeps blowing into my hair. Can't see. We strive and we conquer. Oh my god. We made it across Brooklyn Bridge. I just spent the past 20 minutes trying to find someone to freaking pack the bike. Oh, sorry about the construction. If you are looking to do something in New York, I would definitely recommend biking across Brooklyn Bridge. That is if you are, that is if you are more fit than me, for sure do that. I mean, I still had fun, even though that was a freaking struggle. Stopped like 10 times on the bridge, definitely bike on Brooklyn Bridge because there is a designated biking spot there so you're not having to bike along the streets but I mean if you do want to be more spontaneous I'm sh oh, I choked on my spit I'm sure it'd be more fun to bark bark to bike along the roads but I do not want to get run over today so I did not do that but I'm gonna go meet my mom now I'm running behind because that biking took a lot more than I expected but that's okay I'm not in a rush I was just walking and do you see this building it's black and gold how cool is that so funny story I thought my microphone was broken so I went to Best Buy I bought a new microphone I plugged the new microphone into my phone and then I was testing it and it was still not working. I was like, what the heck? I literally just bought it. Why is it not working? So I thought maybe 
maybe it was my phone. I hope you can still hear me. I realized my phone was still connected to my headphones. They were Bluetooth. That's why I couldn't hear anything when I was trying to listen to my clip. So long story short, my microphone's actually not broken. So now I have two working microphones. As I was opening the microphone box, I've cut myself and I'm bleeding. <laughs> And I just realized what else is funny. I went to that exact same Best Buy when Bills and I were here during December because my microphone was actually broken then. I got water on it. So we're in Times Square and it's hella busy. <laughs> oh, other thing is truffle, 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 truffle. The sandwich is the size of her head. How is it though? Good. Mm. Just found somewhere to sit down. That's the thing about New York. There's always so many random places you can sit that are open to the public. So I'm gonna eat my sandwich now. I'm starving. We've been doing so much walking. My feet are in pain. I'm not wearing the most comfiest shoes. I got a Sicilian lemon soda. Cheers. Oof, that's good. Look at this. It's literally the size of my head and I got a big head. B knows I got a big ass head. So I asked the lady like what sandwich they recommend that has truffle because you know I love truffle. She surprised me. It's called the Boss, I believe. It's basically just prosciutto, truffle, and pecorino cheese. So I'm so excited to eat this. This looks so good, you guys. I'm so excited to eat it. Mm, you can smell the truffle. Size of my head, $20. Sorry, I'm talking my mouthful. The bread is, um, I think it's like focaccia bread or is it ciabatta? Honestly, I don't know, but it's good. That's all you need to know. This is such a good deal. For $20, this will feed like two, three people. Mm. I love prosciutto. I love cheese. I love anything truffle and I love bread. I forgot to mention another thing too. That's so nice. I'm just eating my sandwich, sitting, chilling, and just people watching while listening to music. And it's such nice chill vibes where i'm from you, you don't really get those kind of vibes and if you're sitting by yourself eating a sandwich it's kind of like oh my gosh she's such a loner like we're her friends you know here they might stare at me because i have my microphone and it's like this big fuzzy thing but besides that it's so normal people might think that new yorkers are a bit rude or mean or a little intimidating i feel like everyone just kind of stares at you but they're actually really nice I was just sitting eating my sandwich and then some guy said hi and then where are you from? Welcome to New York. It was really nice to meet you. I still want to move here. Maybe one day. Living in New York would be so sick. This bakery, Vin Le Vong, je ne sais pas how to pronounce it. Woo. The cookies smell good. They specialize in the New York style cookies, which are thick, thick cookies. I've never had a New York style cookie. Please try one. They're so good. People here keep commenting on my nails. They keep saying how they like my nails. And I specifically got these nails from New York. I usually don't get designs. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in my last video. I don't get designs because I'm a basic. Okay, not gonna lie, all my nails are always white. I got these nails because I feel like they're super out there. That's the vibe, that's the meta. I know what the meta is. Bill's taught me what meta is. <laughs> it smells so good, it's a little bit warm too. Look at that, do you see? I wish I had a better vlogging camera, you know, like those ones that blur the background. That's what I need, but I'm a broke <laughs> So we got a phone to vlog with. Let's give this a try. It's crunchy on the edge. The inside is so soft. This cookie is five dollars, which seems pretty good. This is a hefty cookie. Look at all the chocolate. Bado, bado. There's obviously a lot of chocolate in here. So if you don't like that much chocolate, I wouldn't get this. It's a bit too sweet for me, but that's because I like desserts that are not too sweet. Too sweet. I feel like this is perfect sweetness for American desserts, if you will. A lot of pastries in America they up their oh. sugar. I'm in a grocery store. I was like, ooh, chocolate pretzels. It's six dollars for five pretzels. We are at the hotel. I took a nap. We're going for dinner now. I'm so tired. But we're eating sushi. Oh my gosh, there's sushi right now. This is baby squid. You can see all its little tentacles. And you're supposed to eat it with your fingers. 
are killing me i do not have comfy shoes i'm Why wearing this is for my youtube i did not bring comfy shoes because i didn't really have any nice like comfortable shoes so i've been wearing my air forces and i put on two pairs of socks you guys for extra cushion and it did not work look at this fat blister on my foot don't be taking screenshots of my feet guys but look at this believe me when i say my feet were hurting oh my god God, look at that. My feet actually look really swollen. Don't look too much though. Taking screenshots, I'm gonna charge you. So my mom and I went to Trader Joe's. I got a whole bag of goodies. I even got a new Trader Joe's grocery bag that my mommy bought me. Yes, I still call her mommy. Yeah, you do not call your mother mommy, that's a lie. Everyone calls their mother mommy, right mommy? First off, I got Tim's some, if you're new to this channel, Tim's Tibbet is my new puppy. I got him some treats. His stomach's a little sensitive, so I was very, very careful about about the treats I was using him. Just freeze dried chicken breast. Hubei pretzels. This sounds so good. Milk chocolate peanut butter filled pretzels. Milk chocolate peanuts. Can you tell I love chocolate and peanut butter? This is for Bill's spicy tempura snack. This is also for Bill slash me. White truffle potato chips. We love truffle. This my mother told me about. She said that my little siblings love them. So I was like, can you buy me a pack as well? She's like, nope, but I'll buy it for Billy. This is for Bill's. Peanut and corn snack that's dipped in chocolate. This is some kind of protein muffin that you mix with water and then you put it in the microwave. I got these last time I went to Vegas. They're peanut butter caramel coated popcorn. It's vegan and it's so good. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups, which I also got last time from Vegas. So good. I'm gonna try one of these right now because they look so good. Smell test. You know what I hate? When all the snacks are filled up only halfway, it's only filled up to like here. So this is what it looks like. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I rate this. Mm, 9.2. Mommy is trying one. <gasps> Give this back to me then. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> You're wasting my food. My nose is whistling. 